What's up guys? I thought I'd uh, show you a little bit about what I'm doing today. I'm going to replace an alternator on this car. Um, that's it right there. There's two bolts to hold it on. Uh, I guess it'd be really hard to try to show you what I'm going to do. but I'm going to take some of that shit right there off. A couple of bolts and a belt and put another one back on it. But in order to get to it, had to jack it up. Make sure you always put a jack stand if you're going to get up under a car. You know, just a heads up. Literally. <laughs> what I'm going to do, see so you can get to it from the bottom out here. There's a bolt right there. And then there's a bolt up here on the very top. This whole assembly, a slide, I can pull that belt off, pull those two bolts out and disconnect the connectors in the back and pull it right off and then put another one back on it. This car's got a pretty good oil leak. And I think the oil saturation on that is what's killing that alternator. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a look at what I'm doing. I don't recommend, you know, working on cars got the money to pay somebody to do it that'd probably be the best route to go uh because it sucks anybody is anyway. interested uh to get to get that bolt off the top of that alternator the last time i changed it i took the span assembly off but that's just too much aggravation if you got a ratchet wrench like these you can get it out i've already got the bolt out if you got ratchet wrenches, I would suggest not taking it off because it's uh, it's not really that difficult to get off. That right there is a 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to take off. The other connection to it was a little snap-on connection like that. You know, I thought I'd add some more to it instead of saying that's just a bunch of shit down there. But you actually got two connections that and then you've got that you've got the, where the power comes into it but anyway i thought i had some more to it all right guys the bolt on the bottom of this thing is you can't get to it with a wrench so i'm gonna use a socket i'm gonna crawl up under the car i guess and try to get to it but anyway i thought i'd mention that that it's a 12 millimeter but um uh, which i don't understand because i live in america no nah, i'm just kidding but i'm gonna crawl under there all right guys see when you get the when you get that bottom bolt loosened up, you can just push that right off and get that bit, take that belt right off. Anyway, I, I'm gonna keep working. I hadn't pulled it out. My last thing is just to pull that bolt out and then pull it all night. All right, off. guys, easy peasy, Japanese. It's out. I'll show you. Let's crawl in here. That's kind of what it, where it was. When you get it off, it's a bitch to get it off. You gotta shake it. Uh, there's a little T post right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right, right about there. But you have to slide the bottom housing the alternator off and on. Uh, you just have to crawl up under the car and wiggle it around until you get it off. Uh, just make sure you you got your car jacked up and got car jacks and be safe. Anyway, to put it back on is the repeat of the process. I probably won't show any of that, but. Uh, Anybody that knows anything about cars, you kind of get what I'm showing you. But anyway, y'all be cool later. Everybody have Guys, a I want to, you know, add this. I don't know, uh, but some of us, sometimes we forget. I took the negative battery cable off. Anytime you mess with electronics in a car, you know, anything that's got power on it, I always try to disconnect the negative side. I wanted to add that to the video, you know, so nobody don't, like, fry us up. Anyway, uh... Just thought I'd add a little bit more to it. Uh, all right, guys, I said I wasn't going to add anything to it, but what I did is just set the new alternator on it. I'm going to go up there on top and put the top button that holds the, the top button, the top screw in that holds the alternator on, and then I'm going to try to slip the screw through the bottom. But I just thought I'd try to, you know, show a little bit. All right, more. guys, I put the bolt in the top and then put the bolt in the bottom, and I just hand tighten them. See, see how it moves just enough to get up there and tighten my belt up uh 
my belts are back on. I'm gonna start tightening it up and uh, try to button it up. Uh, if this was the last clip I do, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. All right, guys, that's the final step. It's bolted on. I've got everything hooked up. All I got to do is uh, hook the battery back up, put the wheel on it, and button it up. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Everybody have a good day, and uh, be cool. Later. Hope this helps somebody. Appreciate y'all watching. Later. Mm -hmm.